Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm talking about 5 products under 300 rupees that are cruelty free. You asked for it and I'm giving you this video. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. The very first product that I want to show you are the Bella Voste Lip Crayons. I have the shade 11 on my lips right now. This is called Lean On and I have the shade number 15 which is called the Lady in Red. These lip crayons are cruelty free and they retail for 149 rupees on Purple's app. I would say that this is like a demi matte finish but it's not as glossy as a demi matte and not as matte as a liquid lipstick. So let me just swatch the shades for you. This is a beautiful pinky nude shade and this is like a warm toned pink which has a little brown in there. So if your shade is NC42 or you're darker than NC42, then this is going to be a really beautiful nude shade for you. So if you are an NC42, then this is going to be such a beautiful MLBB shade for you. MLBB basically means my lips but better. And if you're slightly darker than NC42, then you can pair this up with a brown lip liner and you are golden, my friend. The next shade, number 15. So the shade number 15, which is the Lady in Red, is a cool toned red shade. Now when it comes to my opinion on cool toned reds, I would say that look, anybody can pull off this shade, but as long as you color correct around your mouth or you wear some foundation, a red color is really, really gonna pop on you. But we Indian girls tend to have some blue toned or some green toned discoloration around our mouth in the form of hyperpigmentation and look that is very very common so if you're wearing red then color correct and you should be good these formulas are absolutely long lasting now it would be wrong for me to tell you that this is going to last for eight and ten hours but it lasts quite well if you're looking for something that has like a matte finish but it's not super drying on the lips it isn't super duper matte to enhance any of the cracks on your lips because I have very dry lips. So this is something that does not enhance those lines on my lips. It still looks really pretty. My lips look moisturized, but they also look matte. And they do last on my lips for a good four hours. Is it smudge proof? No, it isn't. But if you're not comfortable with a bullet lipstick and you're not comfortable with liquid lipsticks and you want something in between, then this is perfect for you. I reached out to Bella Voste, they assured me that they are cruelty free. Now, if any other information comes to light, obviously I will update the description, so please check that out. At 149 rupees for them to be cruelty free, that's awesome in my books. The second product that I have to share with you guys is the Nykaa Matte to Last Mini Liquid Lipsticks. So as you can see, they're pretty small, I'll compare them to my hand. You know, sometimes you're buying a liquid lipstick online and you can't judge the shade and you get the shade and then you realize that, hey, I don't like that color. Well, these liquid lipsticks retail for 239 rupees on Nykaa's app. And the beauty of it is at this price point, you don't really mind if the lipstick doesn't really suit you. You're not out of 600 or 700 rupees. And I've had these for a few months now. I film quite a bit, so I use them quite a bit. But it's not like you have very little product here and it's not going to last. There is a fairly decent amount of lipstick here. Enough for me to feel like I've gotten 235 rupees worth of product. Are they drying? Yes, they are. As are most liquid lipsticks in the market. Okay, so are they going to enhance your fine lines and your cracks on your lips? Yes, they will. Every liquid lipstick that I've tried primarily does that. But the formula is long lasting and it is smudge proof and kiss proof. 
so if i were going on stage and i needed something to really really last then this is the formula that i would choose to wear but i would definitely have to touch this up and probably top this with a gloss so that it is nice and moisturizing but this is something that would definitely stay on my lips for a long period of time the first shade that i'm showing you is 01 which is called bombay this is a warm tone nude it's decently pigmented the next shade is in 03 goa hottie Now that it's had a chance to somewhat dry, let's just talk about it. Goa Hottie is a warm toned red, whereas Lady in Red was a blue toned red. I think it becomes really apparent here. You can also see that Lean On has some blue and brown in there, whereas Bombay is more of a muddy pink shade. Now, the formula is very comfortable on the lips, yes. A little more comfortable than the other liquid lipstick formulas that I've tried but are they as moisturizing as a crayon lipstick or a bullet lipstick no so if you want to try a liquid lipstick but you don't want to spend too much money on it and you're not sure about the shade selection online then you should try the mini matte last liquid lipsticks the third product that I have to show you is the Miss Claire single eyeshadows now these retail for 160 rupees but you'll always find them on discount you can get them on nika on flipkart on amazon all over the internet check out google and it'll direct you to the place where you're going to get it for the lowest price now if you're a beginner then this is absolutely an option for you and i'll tell you why when i first started makeup and i could not afford a highlighter palette or a blush palette or a contour palette then these single shadows were my go-to so I have a black right here but I did have more colors I gave them to my cousin sister if you're looking for a nice blush color then the shade 0656 right here it's a coral peachy blush this is something that you could go for and if you're looking for a bronzer then the shade 0215 would be perfect for you even if you have a fair bit of makeup and i see you wanting to buy a whole entire palette just for one new color like one red or one pink or one blue or one green look single shadows are the way to go they're not chalky are they the most buttery eyeshadows that you'll find out there of course not but when you touch them you'll understand that they're not dry and chalky in the least so this is the black swatched for you is it the most pigmented black no but when we're working with blacks and you're a beginner trust me you don't want a pigmented black because you're just gonna make a mess you'd rather go with a black that is slightly less pigmented in fact if you're a beginner to makeup you shouldn't be looking at eyeshadow pigmentation you don't want the color payoff to be super intense even if you have mature skin you don't want a super pigmented eyeshadow you want an eyeshadow that you can build okay so now my fourth recommendation to you guys and oh my goodness you guys are gonna love this is the miss claire baked eyeshadows i have it in the shade number 24 it's a baked formula so it is beautiful just look at the pan it's slightly rounded let me swatch it for you guys Oof, look at that beautiful metallic shade it is a warm tone red shimmer shade and this you can use it dry you can use it wet you can use your fingers to apply if you want a highlighter then you can pick something like this up if you're fair in complexion then go for a frosty color if you're wheatish in complexion then go for like a gold color and if you're on the dusky side then go for a coppery color so if you're looking for a highlighter and you only want to spend 250 rupees then this is a fabulous option for you guys and trust me you will love this all right so my fifth and final recommendation for this video is the nika black magic liquid liner this retails on Nika's website for 299 rupees. It is a glossy formula. This is the unicarton. This is what the unit looks like. As you can see, it has a really large handle and it has a really nice thin tip. So this is a liquid liner. And let me tell you about liquid liners. When you try quite a few products, right? You will realize that you have a preference. Some people like to hold their liners like this 
and some people like to be really really close to the brush to get that precise application now depending on your comfort you won't go wrong with this because you can hold it like this at the edge or if you prefer to hold your liners like this then you can go right to the end of it and hold it it has a beautiful fine tip it allows you to get a very nice thin line but of course it can also be built up so if you prefer to do thin liner then you won't have any problems with this if you want a thick line you can just build it up this has a shelf life of 18 months use it and quickly close it then you won't have the trouble of it drying out very quickly i've had this for a few months now it is not drying out at all this is smudge proof and water resistant now what does that mean we all know that waterproof liners are a real headache to get off because they're quite plasticky and they tend to peel right and at the end of the day when you go to take off your makeup it is such a headache when you use waterproof liner you always have to rub a lot to get it off so this is a water resistant formula what does that mean? In case you had to encounter some water, then it's not going to smudge because it's water resistant. But when you go to take off your liner at the end of the night, you're not going to have too much trouble. You're not going to be pulling and tugging your lid to get the product off. A little bit of oil and this comes off very easily. And that is why this product made the cut. All right. So that was it. That was my five recommendations for products under 300 rupees all of them were cruelty free i have so many of these fabulous products that are under 300 so let me know do you want a part two if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you want to see more from me you can follow me on instagram i'm curly girl michelle there all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye